we finally made it through to uh, Costa Rica. Look what I've got in here. Just another day in paradise here. What do you think of my roof? Last night we camped out here. I was there, Yun was over there, and there's the volcano right up there. It's quite the trek in here. I was tired. I wasn't worn out when I got here about 40 on. But we met two guys in the parking lot here. Nice guys, and they told us a little bit about the volcano. But we, we trekked right up to there, and then you can see into the, into the crater. You can see that, that what looks like a cloud is actually the sulfur being released into the air. Another volcano over there, absolutely stunning views. It's just, it's been amazing. This road, as you might have seen, the footage is pretty fucking bad. But, like, for me, you all know I'm a solo traveler. This road is probably, it's normal. I definitely would have done this by myself, but Yuan wouldn't have, and I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't send many people up here. Shit. I hope he's alright. You okay? Are you okay? My windshield. The only way to deal with this shit is to drive fast. Yuan, Yuan doesn't want to drive fast. <laughs> He's a different sort of rider. <laughs> We get there. Okay. Nothing too straightforward about this. So I've just ridden down here. I'm going back up to help you on. This is actually really, really tough. Coming down, it's probably nearly worse. If you want, I want the left, but yeah. Fuck. Are you liking it? I fucking hate it. Bike's too heavy. Buenos dias. Buenas tardes. Bueno. A ver, a ver. No. Du, 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 uh. Look across these guys. Oh. Chicken.
John, what's your opinion on this road? This one? Yeah. This one's doable. <laughs> it's not really dangerous. I and mean, even if I plop it, it's whatever. The other one was a little too much. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're both fucked. We're done with it for, for an, another year. I don't know. We'll see yeah. what happens down in South America. Yeah. So I've been having a pretty shit day today, my laptop is broken, it's fucked, turn on. Uh, a few other things went wrong, we're now at a volcano, it's definitely a highlight, I'm going to show you in a minute. actually see the magma you can't see it at present but I'll show you in a minute Nicaragua side of the Costa Rica border. People are hounding us, it's chaotic. The lads are over on my desk working away. Leslie's good for a lot of things, but it's going pretty well, so hopefully we're through in the next uh, hour. We're in Costa Rica, we just need to pass one more border check and we're out. Not really sure where our destination is today, but these border crossings are becoming a bloody headache. Anyway, we're getting close to South America. So we finally made it through to uh, Costa Rica. Look what I've got in here. Got a drone controller. Drone propellers. And a drone. Just another day in paradise here. What do you think of my roof? Pissing down it is. Look at this! How could you not be happy when you're in Costa Rica having an ice cream? Taylor, are you happy? No. <laughs> Taylor's pretty wet. So we finally got out of the rain. Uh, we're staying at a guy's place that I met through Facebook. Jacob is his name, he's from Oregon. He actually has a DR652, but the other three bikes are here. And we've got all our gear out, like over on the line and just drying. Tomorrow me and Jan are gonna go to a medical center. Uh, he needs to get a yellow fever vaccination and I gotta get my knee checked. So the knee is, it's all like fluid on it. Perfect. Now, uh, we have the name. Do you record? Mm-hmm. Both. Mm -hmm. I never say that. Fun times. Before. It's my first time. <laughs> my day at the hospital. What a pain in the hole. Uh, an expensive day. I guess it needs to be done. I had it x-rayed and scanned just to make sure everything was where it was supposed to be. So I have to rest for two days now. By rest for two days, I mean, uh, ah, one day will be enough. So yeah, I'll rest tomorrow. 
and we'll probably hit the road for Panama. Tonight we've been invited to a barbecue, so that's what we're gonna do. Camera, smile. <laughs> you okay? No, I stole it out when I came up here. And I the bike wouldn't want to start anymore. Check this out. Time to go for a bath. There's like a little mini canyon right down there, which is really cool. I'd like to swim through it, but I shouldn't do too much with my leg.
Friday with me. bikes here and our three bikes so we're trying to load it but the locals are trying to get get more money out of all of us so for those that don't know the Darien Gap which connects Panama to Colombia is a roadless swat of jungle and bogland almost impassable only a handful of vehicles have ever done it. And if it's not the wildlife trying to kill you, more than likely it'll be the drug mules for local rebels. A very hostile and dangerous place to cross. The two main options would be to take a sailboat or an airplane. Boat, very expensive. We opted for a sailboat, a more relaxed way. A three day tour, stopping off the Sandblast Islands. <laughs> My face above the water My feet can't touch the ground Touch the ground and it feels nice I can see the sands on the horizon every time You are not around I'm slowly drifting away Wave after wave Wave after wave Like I'm drowning, pulling against the street, pulling against the street. like Survivor or something, tiny little island, it's like paradise. Against the street. 